Hey, this is Kevin Stewart, Bills 250. I'm Kev, and this is stage 14 of Build the Ghostbusters Ecto 1. So stage 14 looks like it's going to be the uh, front suspension and the brake drum. So another good you know, metal parts again. We're going to go on to the chassis that we built back in stage 13. So let's get into it. Let's get into the build for stage 14. Okay, so parts laid out for uh, stage 14. I uh, just laid them out as it is, uh, checked them all off on the inventory and they all seem to be there. Uh, lots of screws with this one, lots of metal screws and a couple of plastic screws as well. So I've checked all them off as well. So uh, yeah, all looks there, all looks good. So we'll get into uh, stage 14 build. Okay, so first part is assembling the lower suspension arm, 14A, just like that. So we're going to be fitting L. This part should have L on it. Yep, both parts should have an L on it. It says that in the construction, so there's an L on that, on the lower suspension arm. There's also an L on the part there. Okay, now obviously an up and a down, so it's going to be... Yeah, that way up and that way up and it's going to be fitted in with two EM screws. But hey, that is so much easier. Just using a bit, a little bit of oil on that. I'm not too sure if it needs to be tightened. Nope, no, it's going to move, isn't it? Most of these suspension parts, I guess, are going to move. So I don't think that needs to be that tight. Uh, it says then put the rubber bumper on and push the rubber bumper. It says you just push that in. Okay. And fix that in with a GP screw. It's going into plastic, so I'm not going to obviously use any um, oil in this one. Number two is constructing the upper arm now. Toward the side, so we've got the upper arm, and we're going to have this part here steering knuckle connector, a narrow end of the suspension arm F, securing in place the two EM screws. Taking slot shaft, so so I'm doing it. Oh, it shows it kind of in the picture. Underneath, it's got the two protrusions kind of on the top there. Looks like it's that way around. And two EM screws. I'm doing these tight because it's like it's a suspension part, so I'm assuming that these might have to kind of move. And then we're going to bring over the chassis that we had from the last from stage 13. Okay, place the upper suspension arm 14F onto the front chassis. So this is the upper suspension arm, the one we've just been working on. And yeah, those two parts of so the two protrusions are going to go into these. Oops. 
and then turn that over and HM screws are going to fit them in. I'm going to secure the upper so that just comes in and there's obviously two holes for them to go into. The suspension arm 14A, the one we worked on previously, on the front shad seat is in figure C. Let me work out which way around that goes. I think it's that way. Yes, that way around. So you lay in that obviously. So these are got, I think, there's two kind of recesses. Just there. There, that's going to lay in. It's got the wasted portions there of the suspension arm. And then you've got the in and hold the suspension arm in and can be fixed in with IM screws. And once again, with these kind of screws, I'm not going to tie them all the way up. I'm leave them a little loose, so there's a little bit of movement there if I need it. I'm also going to put the opposite screw in, so call that diametrically opposed. Obviously, going to have movement anyway, because it's a suspension part, so it's going to have some movement, but it's holding that in place. Okay, now we're going to be constructing the brake drum. So, bring over the first part of the brake drum, part without all the detailing on, just that small part there, that pin. And then we're going to affix the steering knuckle in the middle of the backing plate. So that's going to go across, right, that's got, once again, a key and a very small keyway. We've matched those two up, so you've got that little tiny little key there. And that's obviously got to match up with that. It'll kind of, assume it, yeah, it'll drop into place. So if you haven't got it right, it'll sit crooked, but when it goes in, it drops into place. And that's going to be fitted together with three, oh no, uh, two EM screws. Then we're going to fit the outside part of the brake drum. Then place the brake drum on top of the backing plate. We have just driven the screws through. These parts are fixed together three HP screws. Okay, so that just kind of shows. I don't know if this has got any. Oh, it'll have a specific, specific way to go, won't it? It won't fit any other way. But I've matched it up to the picture anyway, and HP screws, because it's plastic. Okay. Brake drum. Good. Completed. So, bring this over. So that's the top steering hole. It wants you to connect to 14E, which is this part here. So on the top, that's just going to go in like that. You can make that up using JM screw. I'm just going to go in. Now, does it go on top or through? Yep, yeah, just through that into there. Making sure that I'm not getting that in at an angle. That's got to go in flat, I reckon. Quite important. You're not putting that screw in at an angle. That's about as tight as I'm going to get that. And there is movement in it. As it always has been. A lot of these screws. We'll see how it fits when it's in. Hopefully that bottom screw is going to kind of hold it all in place, but I just don't like movement. When you've got screws should be tight. You should hold things tight.
Okay, so yeah, flipping that up, putting the spring in, like it says in that recess, bringing it down and fitting it together with an IM screw. You've got to compress a, compress a spring a little bit, quite a bit actually. You don't want them tight do you, because you want that to move because that's going to be the steering. It doesn't tell you not to do that tight, but okay. that still moves a little bit. So that's got a bit of movement there. And the spring's in there, compressed. Okay, so let's take the shock absorber, which is 14B, setting it into the whole chassis through the coil spring that we just fitted to keep this in place for HM screw. Okay, it's got a key where he puts it in. So that just goes in. So now assembling the steering rack, bring over the, the steering rack and the tie rod, screwing together with one HM screw, making sure obviously that it goes the right way around. So that's the up, you can see that that's the up because that's got the screw holes in it and that matches to there, yeah, I think. Yep, moves that way around. Okay, so you've got the, the protrusion facing downwards. So it's going to be going like that, and that's fitted together with a HM screw. I'm not going to do that particularly tight because it might have to move, I'm not too sure yet. Then bring the chassis back over. Okay, then we're going to be fitting, push the pin end of the tie rod. 14M through the round slot in the steering knuckle and a KM screw. So obviously, yeah, so that part fit into the steering joint. And then a KM screw is going to fit that together. May have to move. Okay, uh, yeah. stage 14. So stage 14 done, yeah, that's a good good part of the model. That is well detailed. The suspension obviously works. The brake drum looks fairly detailed as well. Lots of metal screws going into that, but using the oil, I mean, I was using, um, I use GT85, which is a, I use, I go a lot of mountain biking, a lot of cycling as well. And it's one that I had lying around in the garage that I used for like lubing the chain and stuff. Um, and that absolutely, I know other people use different oils, but that worked beautifully. Just a little dab of that on the uh, screw threads as it went in and they went in like a dream. I have been having a lot of trouble, previous issues with metal screws going in, but definitely that was a, that was a good recommendation. Just a little dab of, screw, uh, dibble, dab of that oil and it went in really, really well. Um, so that's it for that uh, subscribers pack. Yeah, that's that's all I've got. I'm waiting for another subscribers pack. Should be three weeks if it's on time, but with what's going on, who knows? But uh, yeah, as soon as it comes, I'll be starting to upload the videos as soon as I get the next subscribers pack. Um, but for now, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did and you'd like to see the progression of any of these models, this one, the F40 or the um, Spitfire that I'm doing, and please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, don't forget to click the bell if you want to be notified any time that a video goes live. But yeah, um, stay safe out there, stay home if you can, and um, hope to see you again on the channel soon. Uh, Ta-da for now.